Hi everyone, so today I wanted to talk about one of my top tips for both food photography and product photography, and it's a way to get a nice, easy, really awesome looking background in photos in a very convenient way. Uh, I mean, I've seen on Instagram, as, as I'm sure you've all seen, these amazing sort of food photographs that have these lovely sort of wood backgrounds or they'll have like really bright white areas. And I was kind of left thinking like, what does the house of these people look like where they've got all these spaces to take these really sort of differing looks in their, in their house? And uh, the way I've solved this for me is by using floor tiles. It's gonna sound kind of weird, but actually you can get a variety of different colored and effects on your tiles and they produce really awesome backgrounds. So I'm gonna show a couple here and then we'll cut to some photos of what they actually look like. This is one of my recent favorites. There's gonna be loads of glare on this from the lights, but it's a kind of brown textured, almost leather effect looking tile. And what you do is you can place this down just literally on any surface and use it as a backdrop. And it's really, really easy. It was a really cheap tile to buy. It was about eight pounds from a kitchen bathroom tile place that we've got nearby. And it's really heavy, really sturdy, and it's a pretty decent size as well if you're doing anything sort of small. Here's what it looks like in a photo. So as you can see, I've got this one just sort of top down, looking down at the bowl of food. And I really like the way that the tile looks in this photo. And it's just a way nicer background than having to have a really nice table. I mean, we've got a table, it doesn't look great, and it doesn't look that great in photos. But this is a really good way to have a different kind of surface. I also have a second kind of stone effect tile that I really like. I haven't managed to take a photo that I really love with this one yet, but it's a similar kind of idea. It's a nice textured background, but this one's much lighter. So I like this for kind of brighter projects that I don't wanna have kind of looking a bit darker. And it's really nice having this just leaning against the wall, not taking up a lot of space because they are very thin, so you can stack them quite, quite compactly together actually. But it gives me a lot of options when I'm trying to choose what my surface is gonna look like today. I don't have to have like a full tabletop that I have ready to go. I can just make a very small area and make that small area look exactly how I like. Now it's not just stone effect tiles that you can get. These days with the new printing techniques they brought out, some of these companies are producing really amazing wood effect looking tiles. Now these are probably my favorite ones from the ones I currently have. I think having a nice light wood, but in a very flat tile is absolutely perfect. I see this tip all the time on photography blogs and sort of suggestions is go out, find some nice wood, sand it down, paint it white and have a few planks of wood that you can lay down as a surface. That just seems really inconvenient to me. I don't wanna to have to go out, find some wood, paint it. I'm just gonna get some tiles because look how much space the three of these take up. It's about the same kind of thickness as a single real plank of wood, which is just so good for us because we don't have a lot of space for me to sort of keep all this stuff around. So saving space is fantastic. I really like the way these tiles look in this particular photo. It's a nice sort of pasta dish with a very sort of wood background against a white wall. And it just looks really nice. And I don't have a table or any other surface that would look like this. So it's letting me do some really awesome things I just wouldn't be able to do. Similarly, I have some dark versions of these tiles. It's pretty much the same kind of design. It's just a lot darker. And these I've actually found more useful whenever we've done any sort of photographs for Sarah's beauty pickups. And I think that they're, again, they're just a really nice way to get a very good looking background really, really easily and very cheaply. These were about three pounds a plank, which is fantastic. And they're so easy to reuse as well. The final one I wanna show you is actually gonna be the most difficult one to see because it's so shiny. Uh, there's going to be reflections everywhere on this. I have no idea how to hold it so that it doesn't look too terrible. I think that should be okay. You can probably see there. It's quite a reflective black surface. And this is my absolute favorite one, not just for food, but actually more for sort of product photography and blog photography. I think that the way you put stuff down on this and take a photo at an angle and it gives you that really awesome reflection along the bottom, I think this is my absolute must have from all of these. Even if you don't wanna go with tiles as a regular background, 
having a black shiny reflective tile is so cool. There are so many things you can do with it that you just can't do with a regular surface. We've used this one for showing off lipsticks with a nice reflection. And I've also taken a couple of photos of kind of glasses as well as vodka bottles as well. And it just gives it that really sort of modern, clean look without you having to fake reflections in Photoshop. Because you can do all that afterwards and flip the image, but it's just a lot nicer being able to go, no, that's just straight out of the camera. And I really like the way it looks. So that's just my quick tip for getting a really nice, easy background that can really make your photos stand out. And it means you don't have to go to all this trouble of setting up a full, nice dining table and laying everything. You just have a nice little tile and make everything on that tile look great. You can buy vinyl wraps, but I've actually seen that these are quite expensive usually, and also a lot more difficult to deal with sort of reflections and wrinkles. So my preference is definitely with tiles. Let me know if you've got any other really awesome ideas for photography backgrounds, whether that's for blog photography, product photography, food photography, I'm interested in all of it. So let me know in the comments and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you for watching this video. Really hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and why not subscribe to our channel? You can also check out one of our other videos that should be on screen right about now.